Welcome back to Minecraft, and I just could not wait to see what was going to happen in this video. And simply because I finally found what appears to be a wide opening in the cleft of the earth here. And I was just dying to explore, and I got off on a little tangent about emotions in the last video. But I believe it was justified. Because, let's face it, we are all emotional beings, and it may be directly related to our mental health, I don't know. But what I do know is that there is an awful lot of mob activity down there, and I am precariously teeming over the edge of this cliff. So, what I'm going to do is very carefully... There we go make myself a little staircase try to try to make this OSHA compliant because right now it isn't there's all kinds of badness down here that's you know just just no oh my goodness that could have been bad I can't even like okay little lights down there I can't even see <laughs> it's okay I'm also playing this on you know 480p so uh, good frame rate but how many arrows do I have? Oh, two. Well, that's not going to help me at all. Okay. So, I do have a full suit of armor. Oh my goodness, that could have been bad. I exposed myself behind this wall of gravel. Seems to be more... Oh, crap. Ha. Oh. Wait a minute, no! <laughs> oh, I actually didn't get poisoned. I thought I got hit by a poison jar. What did I collect, though? Ah. Oh. Okay, now they're coming for me. Now they found me. Come on, zombie train. There you go. That's right. Keep them coming. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm not going to die. I technically could find my way, but let me just kind of do that. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> it could have been bad. What did I collect from that witch? Oh, it's a piece of glowstone dust. <laughs> okay. Not much you can do with that, but, uh, interesting, to say the least. Oh, hello, there's a bite dungeon! Oh, no, this is bad, this is bad, I feel like I'm doing reverse temple runner here. Oh! That's not good. Must eat, must ingest cooked pork. As I figure a way to douse the flames of this in adversity. Man, this is just going one... Ah, crap, no, that's going to sting! Even with full armor, man, if I get hit with one or two arrows from that skeleton, it's over. He's gonna come for me, though, and when he does... Are you ready for it? Booyah! Booyah! That's what I thought. Alright, screw this. I gotta get in there and cover that... That spawner. Wait a minute. What the... Oh, it's completely buried by... <laughs> Oh, there's one of the chests. Okay, so it's a good thing I made this shovel because... There. That's not so bad. Now, the dungeon has been contained, and it's been a while since I found a dungeon, so this is a good thing. But it's exciting in the cave all the time, and there is two chests. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to cut the video off here. It's only been like four minutes. But, uh... This is... Let's see what we get. What we get. Okay, music disc. A cat, which I enjoy somewhat. Oh, nice. A golden apple. I got more string. That's good. Oh, some iron horse armor. And it looks as though I have two buckets. Oh, and the bucket stack. That's a good thing. And the music disc. Well, I don't need the spider eye, the glowstone dust, the rotten flesh, the disc. Ugh. Alright, you know what? I will keep those. Since I'm trying to survive and build up my, my little world here. I guess I'll keep this stuff. Oh, there's some diamond horse armor, more string and bread. Another cat disc and a saddle. Uh, see, now my inventory's full. This is what I've been talking about. Now I have too much food and too much junk, so this is, some of this has got to go. Uh, the discs, I'll get more. I'm not going to have a library of discs. I'm sorry. I'm not that kind of player. And the buckets, and since I have diamond horse armor, there's no need to have the iron horse armor. I have plenty to eat. Gotta get rid of the ice blood gunpowders. 
Okay, and these potatoes gotta go. I really need this obsidian because I don't I don't feel like digging that up later. And of course the gravel. And there! That's a little better! Okay. Let's continue. I still didn't explore that other place. Oh my goodness. Some sort of lava. Well, I'm down on I'm Y52, so that's really not going to do much if I go that way. Especially since down here, there is much more inlets. And this direction, which may... Oh my goodness, there's another skeleton! Okay, so I'm a little more resilient than I first uh, believed. So, oh wow. This is interesting down here. There's a little bit of grass in the cave. I, I suppose that's... Ooh, creepy cave noises. I suppose the grass in the cave, which is nice, I like it. But I feel like it represents, like, moss and growth. Because there is water in the cave here, so why not grass on the dirt? Makes sense. And I've seen that in, in caves that I've actually been in. You say, Sorv, you've really been in a cave? Actually, yeah, I have. <laughs> it's, I know it sounds funny and hard to believe. And that was before Minecraft even existed, I was doing that stuff. We literally spelunked. Now, it wasn't uh, like an official, we didn't have any gear or sponsor or anything like that. We just sort of went into these old mining caves that had been abandoned. Oh my goodness. See, what's he after? Because he's not after me. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> There's got to be a, 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 a dungeon up there, too. There has to be. There's no way there are that many zombies. I mean, I know they reproduce, but still, that's... Uh, that's too many. <clears throat> this might have been what I was hearing earlier when I, in the last video when I was in that other cave. Oh my goodness, so many zombie and stuff. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna try to... Now, now, if there was... Yeah. See, if there was a dungeon, I should have already know, seen it. I should have already been there. But it's just zombie after zombie. They're just everywhere all the time. I don't understand. And now I'm at what? Y63. I'm back at the surface, essentially. Uh, this is not good. That's death that way. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, not even gonna try because I'm getting off course. <clears throat> this is not the way I wanted to go. I'm not lost. I just, I wanted to make sure. Okay, back down we go. See, now I'm going down. That's what I want to do is go down. And I don't want to go this way either. I know I missed this iron earlier, that's why I'm getting it now. I know that probably makes people cringe when I run right past the resource. Even if I acknowledge it, I don't actually get it right away. But I come back to it. Because when I when I do this exploring, I, I'm just trying to, to make sure that all of my, my options are exhausted before I do what I really want to do. Because this is where we were. This is what I want to explore because it's so, uh, you know, Awesome. <laughs> I guess is the best way to describe it. Oh. Okay, so we're putting the torches and avoiding the mobs. I see you, spider. I see you, creeper. Okay, okay, very nice. You bit me. That's good. That's good. Okay, okay, you bit again. Okay, that's very funny. Now go away. I have armor. I will not die. That creeper would explode. And I don't know why I adopted this accent all of a sudden. Okay, Mr. Enderman, you're next. You are the next one today. Just trying to. Okay, good. That's actually a dead end. A wanted dead end. Oh, I see. Maybe this water goes down there. Okay, so it, it's possible that I can kill this Enderman as I am. However, I'm going to play it safe. And. There. Now we're good. This is much better than trying to dodge and weave, because the thing is fast and it hurts. <laughs> and even with a full suit of armor, it's still it's very dangerous. And me without my torches. There we go. And that means I need to make more sticks. More stickies. There we go. And I think I can top my torches off. Oh, there's a few extra. That's okay. Here we go. Okay. Gotta light up this area. Don't want any surprises. I did get an enderpearl for that though, which is quite excellent. 
because ender pearls are a good thing. They're a rare item and useful for certain things. Although I probably use them most likely to make ender chests because playing on Amplified, you're going to have, you know, issues. <laughs> Just saying. You have no idea. I have tried, man. I really have. I even did. I had to do practice runs, just to make sure I could do a let's play on this, and it, I, I didn't even get very far. I got some things down, but it was difficult, man. I know I play on hard, but let's face it, Minecraft. I'm glad. Like I said, I'm glad this mode was created, even if it's temporary. I'll still use it. I won't update my Minecraft not to lose this gem of a mod which is technically not a mod, I mean, they they changed the code. If I could do that, I'd do it myself, and then Wedge did it, but, you know, it is what it is. But this is sweet, and it adds a new element of difficulty and challenge to the game that was not present, or I should say was, was starting to fleet in, in previous versions of Minecraft. Things were getting made to be too easy. You know, and, and it's not just from adding items. Some might say that, oh, well, they just added a bunch of items, and naturally that's what happens. The more options you have, the easier time you have. And that, that might be true in real life. And Minecraft might be similar in real life in a lot more ways than one thinks. But, as a general rule, Minecraft was becoming easier. Uh, and it wasn't as challenging. And once you do everything that you need to do and get all the achievements, even the hard ones... It's, uh, you know, it, you're back to creative, basically. You know, it's okay, let's go build. Survival really isn't doing it for me. I've done the XBLA, I've done all that stuff. So what now? Well, try surviving on an amplified map and tell me it's not challenging. Because it is. And you're going to have a lot of fun with it. And that's kind of why I'm doing this series. Because it's something to do. It keeps you entertained. And, uh, you know... Maybe something exciting will happen. So far, every episode this series has either been an epic rant by yours truly, or something truly incredible has happened. And I think I just found a connection between all these caves. It's right here. And that's where I was before with the dirt. And I talked about the, the growth in the cave. So, that tells me that we are... Look at this. I'm back to Y56. And now I'm going up. I don't want to go up! I want to go down into the depths of the cave. Ah, uh, that might even lead to the surface. They're darn close. Okay. So yeah, see, I hear the mobs now. So <clears throat> all of that was for naught. See, this is what I'm saying. Even the caves that have expansive caverns and tunnels with which to explore still do not even get you close to the diamond layer. <laughs> and I just, I just proved it. But. All I can do now is, is try some of these other options that I passed up before, because that was a dud for the most part. Now, the way over here might might do something, I don't know, but uh, didn't I, wasn't I just here, didn't I just, yeah, I just explored this too. This this is down at Y43, so we're, we're closer, but when I try to go see then I get dead end and I guess it doesn't it's not there man these caves are just not giving it up and I'm sure that there's cave underneath my feet that I have to dig to reach but I don't know which way to dig the game doesn't tell you there is no indicator not that I think there should be although that x-ray mod that that kind of ruined minecraft so to speak was in fact uh, uh, an interesting take on an idea that I had for mining diamonds more effectively. See, you wouldn't be able to, um, <clears throat> you wouldn't be able to see the diamonds necessarily or be told exactly which direction to go, but if you found some, you could use them to craft an item that would be, uh, kind of like a metal detector, and I'm sure this has been done before in mods, but I don't think it's been done the way I'm going to describe, and if it has, fine but the way the metal detector would work is while you were in the cave it would send off a signal in say five or six blocks in every direction and it would alert you to a nearby resource and it would also oh, it would also act like a Geiger counter or an advanced version of a metal detector in that it would get more intense of a signal the closer you were 
It's kind of like the way I find dungeons by listening to the sounds of the zombies, and the higher the pitch of the sound of the zombie, or whatever, the closer I know I'm getting to the dungeons. So this is not, like, something that would be brand new. You could uh, Notch could definitely derive a metal detector from, you know, existing game items. <laughs> he's like, oh no, he's gonna jump into... No, never mind. So yeah, that's that's what that would be about. And, uh, you know, it would be cool, I think. Because then you, it would still make... Uh, I guess I'm tipping on lazy craft, right? It would still make it difficult to find the resources you require. But... Oh, I'm underwater, aren't I? Aren't I? I bet I am. Yep. I'm under the water. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm at the shoreline. Oof. That would have been real bad. Okay, how far did I actually go? I can't be that far. Good thing it's daytime, but I have this funny feeling that the sun is about to set. I'm going to be stranded out here. I don't want to go back into that cave. It's all it's all done. It's all finished. Nothing doing. We explored everywhere, kinda. But, uh... Where we didn't explore was only going up, never down. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Skellington. Well, you know what? I'm I'm an idiot. He's still hitting me from there. Oh, he only had one like one heart left. He must have been burning alive and found a tree under which to take shelter. Yeah, there's the there's okay. So I did go pretty far. I went from down like around there over to there. So that wasn't you know that was an interesting. It was definitely expansive, but uh, not not uh, didn't yield. You know, kind of what I was going for. Yield, that's what we need. But look at look at this this map structure. Now, I know that there's some floating stuff and some mismatched chunk information, but it's still, it is incroyable. I knew I went that way. Let's try this, shall we? Aha! <laughs> I should have just gone here in the first place. Look at this. This is a cave. Welcome, it says. Hello. Oh, I hit the... See, now I'm out of arrows. Uh, die! Good thing I have this armor, man, because that's <laughs> wow. This is this is a nice welcoming opening to a cave. Now let's see. Actually, uh, I realize that I've been talking for like 17 minutes, so let's uh, let's stop here, and uh, you know, I'll see you in the next video because I don't want to go too long and and you know stuff. So keep watching. I will see you in the next video, and we will explore this cave to see if we can get down to the bottom so that we can get some diamonds and plenty of resources so that we can start the epic bridge constructions and so forth. So I will see you then, and thanks for watching. Oh yeah!